it's Tuesday. Um, I'm not sure why everyone loved my video last week so much. Anna, um, I am sorry about your glucose stuff, although I've seen pictures about what you're eating. Have to say I'm a little jealous, but I know it can suck. Danielle, why must you always leave us in suspense? Why? I've been sitting here thinking, what could it be? Marissa, well Grayson, well Grayson, I didn't read it yet. Um, I started with looking for Alaska, so. Rachel, yay! Fundraising, awesome, I'm glad you made your goal. I'm really amazed that you drummed up that much from everything. I'm really excited. You must have some awesome people that just follow you. Let's see. Anna wanted a 10-word synopsis of my favorite book, which means I have to pick a favorite book um, called The Sharing Knife that I talked about. And it's kind of broken up because I had to cut it down to 10 words. So Tribe People, Sixth Sense, May, December, Romance, Combining Two Worlds. And uh, Marissa said crunchy or creamy. Honestly, it depends on my mood. Usually I get creamy, but I kind of like crunchy too because it's a little salty and whatnot. So John Green books. Um, I actually started looking for Alaska after my video last week. I finished it today. Very, very awesome read. Um, I've read Paper Towns. I will be starting Will Grayson, Will Grayson here soon. And I have not read An Abundance of Catherine's, although I really want to read that one. Because Alaska kind of reminds me of the main character, well main girl, in Paper Towns. A lot of the similar kind of things as well as the MC in both novels. So that was kind of like, oh, they're kind of the same. So yeah, I really liked Looking for Alaska. I did. It was, I was laughing out loud all the time and now Aiden wants to start the book. He couldn't wait till I finished it because I kept laughing. He's like, what's going on? We are talking about artistic stuff. I just kind of, I was going, I've been redoing my book, and in, in it, it's kind of like this, it's about a change that happens within her that you're seeing, and part of the change is the fact that she has all this creative energy, and she doesn't know what to do with it, and I've been trying to kind of cut everything down, there's just too much. You know, I used to focus on a million different creative things, and now I just have my few, and I really do like that a lot better, and so I was curious what else you guys do, because I knit and crochet, and I usually only do that in the winter time when it feels like I can wear this stuff and I get excited about making myself something or making other people something. And Anna, I've always wanted to get into photography. I finally got my first nice camera um, last year, and I really just want to learn more about it. I started out with my dad's old camera that he actually bought in the Philippines when he was in the Marines. And then I used to sketch all the time. Oh, I've been watching Sing Off. Which, they got eliminated, but Wilsonville High School, which is the town that we were right next door to that we actually want to buy a house in, their high school was on sing-off, and so I thought that was kind of cool. But I really miss performing, and my old choir is having a performance on Friday night we're going to go see, and I just, I miss that. I miss singing, I miss performing, I miss, and dance. So I was very, very into dance. Um, I could pick up choreography pretty well. I used to choreograph dances all the time until I um, hurt my hip and had to drop dance and just couldn't keep up with it anymore. And now I love ballroom and I'm trying to talk someone else into at least trying ballroom. Oh, and Scrivener. They, I'm very, very much into it. It's only, the beta for Windows is only until the 30th and then I don't know what's coming out. But I really like it so far and I like the fact that you can have all your research right there because that is so awesome. This last weekend, but I'm thinking of starting a series and I'm really excited about it and I got everything out on paper that I could think of and all the questions that I had about the new world I'm trying to create and I'm really excited about it and I'm almost thinking about switching my novel idea but it has to do with um, phoenixes I don't know kind of like a dragon kin thing but I think Scrivener would be very very helpful in helping me when I'm actually ready to write it so um, I watch some weird things on YouTube and one of them's Millie by the Fine Bros, and it's just so ridiculous. I was curious for whoever I roll if there's anything odd or anything that you watch on YouTube like that that's just kind of crazy or weird or just like, why are you watching that? Three! Rachel. My word of the day is labyrinth. I will see you all next week, and Rachel, I will see you tomorrow.